Good morning. It is 5.30, just getting ready to leave for work. Today we're going back to a patio project that we started yesterday. We are going to pour and finish it all up. I haven't decided if we're going to pour the patio separate from the sidewalk or not. I'll just kind of leave it up to the guys and see what they want to do. All right, Caddy, you ready? How much garbage do we make? Morning, Jessica. Hey, how are you? Good. How's the coffee business? Pretty good. All right. How uh oh. Which one? House blend. I can. Come on. Do you want me to make some really quick? Sure. Of course I do. Sorry about that. This is your first time. <laughs> I gave Jewel 373 times. So that's the only number one for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ms. Z. All, right. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. You don't need your receipt? No, I'm okay. Thank okay. you. Have a great day. All right. All right, just got a text message. Daryl, do you really need me? I have had. <laughs> wow. Just pulling into the yard, Daryl just texted me that he's sick. He said, do you really need me? And I text him, yes, I do. So we'll see what he texts back. All right, Daryl said he's going to try to come anyway. We'll see. The recoil is broken on the power above you. Daryl was supposed to come early this morning and fix this. So I guess that's on me now. So I'll fix it. The season is just about over. And... I'm kind of glad. It's always mixed emotions, of course, but this year was full of adventure and uh, sometimes too much adventure will exhaust you. And I think I had too much adventure this summer. All right, I gotta get some sockets. I think that's 10 millimeter, which is probably missing. Still got my 10 millimeter socket. That's impressive. I think what I'm gonna do just for today is just take the recoil off. This recoil shot. It won't even recoil. The spring is done. We got plenty of rope here. Just tie a knot on the end and you wrap it. I used to start these like this all the time. Just like that. I'll have to pick up a new recoil. Bugs is here. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's Mike. Mike's here. Mike beat Bugs today. Bugs was having trouble with his truck yesterday. He must, he might be having trouble again because it's 620. He usually gets here before now. All right, I gotta get the gas can because we need gas for the buggy. Make up some mixed gas while I'm at it. I like to use these small containers of oil for one gallon. It makes the math easy for the guys. One gallon, one container. Eric's here. Morning. Still got the mustache? Sure do. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dream last night I got a load of gravel. Yeah. In this truck. Okay. Yeah. It was pretty weird. <laughs> I asked the loader guy to put a load of gravel 
And he's like, I can't do that. He's like, are you certified to drive a truck that big? I was like, I, I said, I got a CDL. I got a quad axle tandem axle. I said, this is just nothing. Yeah. And then he did finally load it, but he didn't want to load it. He thought I couldn't handle it. I don't, it was a weird dream. That's funny. I know. I can honestly say I've never had a dream. You never had a I've dream? I've never had a dream. That's weird. Not yes. even when you were a little kid? Not even when I was a little kid. I've never heard of that. Yeah. I thought everybody dreamt. Well, Bugs is here and Francisco. Morning. Morning. I need a glue. Spray we, glue? Yeah, are we doing that side load and doing that inner wall with felt? Yeah. I, I did. There's three rolls of felt on the white truck. Okay. All right. You think we should pour the sidewalk separate at noon? Yeah. Pour it all at once? Yeah. All right. Morning pour, everything's cool. I was hoping you pour one for it. Eric, what are you doing? You don't have the key. Good morning. Are you ready? Oh, I thought you were Eric. <laughs> Is that Daryl? Yeah, that's his vehicle. He told me he's really sick and he didn't want to come in. I said, come in anyway, man. Sick? Yeah, and then he said, all right, I'll be I there. I cold, I'm here. I know. All right, Daryl's coming in here, so I gotta move some of this stuff. Truck's brand new and it's a mess already. All right, we just pulled up on the job. I gotta measure up for concrete here and get it coming. Right under the form, straight out. And this has gotta get buried here. This has gotta get buried right here. Just dig it under the wall. See it. Thank you. Hey, no poop today? No. Wow. Proud of you guys. All right, it's calling for 11 yards. I'm gonna order, it's a little deep up top. I'm gonna order 12 and a half just to make absolutely certain we don't run out. That's what we'll do. Hey Adam Ryan from Victory. Yes sir. Uh, I have a eight o'clock order. Okay. I need 12 and a half yards, six bag low chert air microfiber. Five inch slump, 30 minutes apart. Okay. All right. No problem. Thank you. All right. Concrete's ordered. Now I just got to keep prepping, getting everything ready to go here. Tino's here. Tino's finally here. Yep. Good morning, boss. Morning. We got a, we got a wheelbarrow this one. No way. We do. Daryl took the recoil. He said he's oh. gonna fix it last night, and he never brought it back. The what? The recoil. He never brought it back. Doesn't work. No, we got a wheelbarrow, and that one has a flat tire, so one wheelbarrow. The patio too. Everything, man. I got 12 yards on the way. The patio wheelbarrow. No we have to. You think we're gonna wheelbarrow the whole patio? <laughs> Come on. 
<laughs> no, I didn't fix it, but so if you ever have a Honda engine, you take the recoil off and there's a notch in here. Mm -hmm. See the notch? Yes. So you tie it. Huh? This is, yeah, this is like the MacGyver <laughs> way. You, you put this in here, mm -hmm. that'll hold it. Make sure your switch is on, make sure it's in neutral, give it a little bit of gas, gas See on, there. choke on. Pull it over until it stops. <laughs> yeah, right, right. So how are you doing? You thought you had the wheel? We could have done it easy anyway. If we pull the truck up there with wheelbarrows, easy. <laughs> yep. Pull on this, man. My hand is stuck in there for real. Yeah, right. it is for real. No, because you got the back. <laughs> Oh my. It won't come off. What if this was your permanent hand? <laughs> oh yeah, you could scoop stuff up and just be ah. As long as I can eat. I know, you'd be happy. You could get big scoops. You could put your cereal right in there and milk. Ah. This glue's hard as a rock. That's not gonna work. Daryl found some glue in the truck that's been there for six years. I have an uncle that's a plumber. Yeah? He can't stand using the purple primer. He likes the clear? Yeah. I think it's for a cold thing, so when the inspector comes through, he can see the purple and make sure oh, that you maybe. primed it. That's yeah, what I heard. Right. I, I am not a plumber, but somebody told me that. Really? Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. <laughs> Eric sounds like a jackal. Yeah, he does. <laughs> a hyena. A hyena, yeah. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Almost ready. Just gonna start laying out joints. Uh, looks like one off the corner, one off that corner, one off that corner, one off this corner, and then here I'll probably run off the corner of the house and then dog leg it to the stoop. Cut this in half. That's pretty easy that way. That's real simple. And then I'll run one right off of this stoop here. There, dog leg it. Gonna grab some paint and mark that out. Concrete should be here in about 15 minutes. How many miles you got, Mike? On this one? Yeah. Uh, 177. 177? Yeah. That's only like 20% dead <laughs> yeah. for the for the 73. No kidding. Stuff. <laughs> Why is the hood up for real? He's the truck. Really? Oh, he's fixing the transmission from the hood? That's interesting. Okay. Smart plugs? <laughs> yeah. All right, joints are all laid out. I think we're about 100% ready for concrete now. Should be here any minute. It's 8.02, it's actually a little late. It's a little weird. We're gonna pour up on the siding for the first like six or seven feet there, but uh, I don't like to do that, but it is what it is. Not every situation's perfect. If you're a concrete guy, you know that. Yeah. Concrete's here! The only one. Alright, showtime.
All right, see you later. If I don't see you next week, I'll see you next year. <laughs> next week, last week? Yeah, two days the following week, but yeah, that's it. Bring me a shovel in my place. What's up, boss? That's good. All right, back's all poured, moving to the front. Grab that form and slide it that way. You can't pour concrete against the form against the wall. It's gonna be the same thing. How are you ever gonna get the form out when the concrete's hard? Slide it that way some. This form. Just slide it back so it's to here. Otherwise that's gonna be a nightmare right there. I got it. Never mind. Right there. Grab the shovel. You're gonna need. You're gonna need it. Still a little speed bump ramps in between here. Why not? Speed bumps in the sidewalk with all the extra concrete. Yeah. I don't know. They might like it. They might. Yeah. We could set up another sidewalk somewhere. I know. Checking this concrete here. They're just finishing up the front sidewalk. Sun's starting to come through, so that's good. Oh, it's firming up. It's firming up. That's good. I could cut the joints in it right now. But I'm gonna finish both floating the front walk, snap the lines, and get on the joints right away. I think 1% was gonna be, I think 1% is gonna be pretty good. What dump truck? Yeah, right. Why not? It's a dump truck. No, I don't think so. No. Daryl wanted to put the extra concrete in my truck. Did he really? Yeah. I was like, no, nah, I don't think so. Maybe it was 10 years from now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no way, man. This is the first brand new work truck I've ever purchased in my whole career. And one of the big reasons I did that is because used trucks are practically the same price as new trucks right now. It's really a weird car and truck market. Really, really strange. There's no deals on used vehicles, that's for sure. There's no deals on new vehicles either. I didn't get much of a discount on this thing. Hold it, guys. Stop. So you think it's his fault? Yeah. Come on. He's almost done. He's going to rinse that. All right, thank you, man. If I don't see you next week, I'll see you next year. Hey, see you in the spring. Crazy, huh? Crazy. The summers go by so fast. Bro, it seems like it started. As soon as the clock start getting a little bit better. Yeah, I hear that. All right, see you later. Oh, look at all the leaves on the sidewalk already. The nice thing is they're the big leaves and they blow off easily with the leaf blower. 
the difficult ones are the little tiny leaves or the helicopters the little blossoms the little pods those are those are hard to blow off these aren't too bad at all now we're going straight off the face of the stoop so just follow the face Go that way just a touch. Yeah, right there. In another two inches. Right there. Two inches farther. Back? No, this way. Towards you, one inch. Right there. Stop. Uh, right off the downspout. I don't really need lines here. You guys want to pick some of this stuff up or you just be chilling for a while? Come on. I'll pick up all these pins and everything we don't need. Saw. Garbage over here. More pins. Uh, it's pretty good. I'm going to cut the joints now. Eric, there's not a single leave on the slab. What are you doing? <laughs> you trying to stay busy? <laughs> I know, I saw the sidewalk. I make jelly every year. I ordered my, I get them from Maine. They're wild Maine blueberries. Oh yeah? They always come frozen. 10 pounds, $176. Wow. But they send them frozen. Yeah. So they're ready. Oh yeah. They're delicious, man. My wife absolutely loves yeah, that really jelly. Good. She's always talking about it. Yeah. She said her and the kids like them on English muffins. Yep. My favorite's probably raspberry. Yeah, mine too. You want to fight, Eric? I think the joiner could whip on the buffalo because <laughs> it's got a cutting blade. The buffalo just sits on the surface. Yeah. It's like Robot Wars. I think I take. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I would take you out with the joiner. Right. I'll cut you right in half, dude. <laughs> They're in Las Vegas. When we go, you'll see them. Really? Yeah, the building is right there in Las Vegas. I didn't know that, but we were there. I was like, hey, check that out. Is that what they're called, Robot Wars or something? Yeah. It's pretty interesting to watch. It was crazy because I was in my hotel and I was watching the show, right? Like I got back to the hotel and I found this channel and they were fighting these little robots, remote control. I thought it was super cool, man. I got hooked on it. So I'm watching the th the same show for hours because they keep playing the next one and the next one, like repeats or whatever. So I'm watching this and watching this. And then the next day we're driving around, I was like, there it is, that's the building. I wanted to go, but I didn't know the schedule. Yeah. All right, all the joints are cut in. I had Eric run over everything again with the bull float. Close them back in a little bit. I'm gonna let it tighten up and I'll run the joiner through one more time. Leaves them a little bit more crisp and easier to finish. In the fall, when you have time, you can do that. In the summertime, when the concrete's popping, I just cut them in one time. Guys jump on and that's it. But it's a little bit of a luxury to do that. It makes it easier on the guys. Wet. Hey, blow these leaves as I do this. Because we got a little bit of a leaf problem here.
Daryl's back. Finally. It's too wet, Tino. Don't even get out here. I just wanted to get up in here. Yeah, where the sun was, yeah. Why were you gone so long? It was about an hour. Oh, never mind. Thank you. You take as long as you want. <laughs> Daryl Jr. is calling me. I don't know. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what did you say? We're going to Chicago. Let me guess. Your dad told you that? <laughs> yep. I figured. What did he say? I guess he's going to go to the south side. Uh, no, he's just lying to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I'll go beat him up for you. All right, bye. Yep, bye. What is Daryl doing anyway? I haven't seen him. What are you doing? You're playing on TikTok sitting in the truck. <laughs> I was waiting for everybody to start so I could pull pins. Did they go on e yet? And you're eating popcorn. I was eating popcorn. Yeah, right. That's why there's crumbs all over your beard. Yeah, right. Did Junior call you? Yeah, why did you tell Junior we're going <laughs> to Chicago? He said he wanted to come. <laughs> what did you, what'd you tell him? I, I told him your dad's lying to you and I was going to beat you up. <laughs> Why are you so mean to him? I said, Junior, did you take a shower and get ready for this morning? He's like, no, I will. Nine months ago, I bought a... Oh, that's a stupid tic Can you come to the back, please? The work is in the back, not in the back seat. Thank you. Pull some of these pins. I uh, don't know. Oh, I got it. Crowd broom, picture frame, action today. I'm gonna picture frame the edge, just the exterior edge here. That would grow nice. Literally, as soon as they like show any sign of pushiness, yeah. I push back really hard. Oh, do you? Yes, to the point where I'll become a little rude. Okay. Because I'm the professional, so what happens is, you know how it should be done, but they're persistent, so you're like, you cave in, you're like, okay, I'll just do it this way just yeah. to make them happy. And then, 
they'll come back at you and say, you should have did it right. You're the professional. You should have known oh, better. Yeah. And then it's your fault. Okay. It's happened to me before. Oh, yeah. So that's why I'll, I'll get a little rude if I have to. Okay. Just to make sure it's done right. Because you are the professional. Yeah. You know, it is your responsibility. Yeah, the and job. there was one job where a guy said he wanted his driveway troweled. No broom. Because we did his garage floor and he liked it. He's yeah. like, I want the whole driveway just like the garage floor. No broom, no texture. Yeah. And we told him, no, we couldn't do that. You could slip or whatever. Yeah. And he was like, no, I want it done like the garage floor. It's the only job in 23 years we ever took up all our forms and left. Really? Yes. Well, we dug his whole old, old driveway out. It was graded with yeah. gravel, ready to pour. Yeah. We took all the forms and we left. Really? We said, you got to get somebody else. We won't do it. Wow. What are you mad at, Eric? How are you gonna be mad? You got the life. No, no, no. You get to pour concrete every day. What could be better? Right, Francisco? Nothing better than concrete. Well, I shouldn't say it was during the crash. It was during the build up where everybody could get a loan. Okay. So it didn't matter your credit, the bank would just give you money to buy. So there was no renters because everybody that would have rented was buying. Okay. And then the rental pool, what was left was people that you did not want renting yeah. from you. So that was like, Two years I did that and I just, I had it. I could not take it anymore. Yeah. So I sold the, du I bought a duplex and I sold it. Okay. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. When you hit it at the right angle, it really looks yeah, good. Yeah, like, bug, like right about here. Yeah. Right here is the angle. Pow. That's cool. Those different lines can give it a different look like that. Yeah. Yeah, it looks cool. What a difference from yesterday. Yeah. This place was a mess yesterday. Yeah, That's one of the things I love about concrete though. You come to a job like this and it's a total disaster and like the very next day it yeah, looks it's like it's this, you know, beautiful. you're done. All right, that's done. Back is done. Just got to get the front sidewalk. And Mike stripped the form so none of the edges got destroyed. That's a really nice looking patio. Pretty good size. Plenty big to uh, have a large table over there. Maybe a secondary table or serving table there. I think they're going to do a hot tub at some point in the future in that corner. Should be real nice. Nice new steps for them. You guys busy? Daryl looks ready. I am. I'm waiting for them to move so I can get this. So it's their fault? <laughs> yeah. So job is all done, stripped 100% and it turned out really awesome. Guys are just cleaning up, putting the last few tools away. Oh, yep, there it is. Big difference from yesterday. The only thing we have left to do on this job is we're gonna have to reconnect, splice into that Romex, go all the way around the edge of the patio and then reconnect it to the piece over there by the AC unit. But other than that, we're 100%. What are we doing tomorrow? Uh, hot tub slab for the guy that, I, the job that I fired Marcel on yeah. last so summer. My neighbor? No, him. Oh, okay. Yeah, same guy. Mike was asking what was the hardest job we had and that's the one I told him. Yeah, that was probably the hardest job in the last oh, few years. Yeah. The job I fired Marcel on. Yeah. You remember that video? Yeah, you had like two power buggies going there. Yes. You'll see. Well, are you coming tomorrow with me or are you just cleaning up? I don't care. I, it's, I don't really need you, honestly. Tomorrow I have plans unless... Good. No, I don't need okay. you because it's a super small. It's a hot tub slab. Oh. It's like 12 by 12 or something <laughs> like that. It's super easy. I mean, I wouldn't do it unless it was this guy. Yeah. You know, the guy is really nice and we did a job for him already. Cool. Thank you, Mike. Yep. All right, Bugs. Thank you, Ryan. Yep. See you later. Mike, oh, um... We need to caution tape the front for sure. Okay. Yeah. Best way to learn is to figure it out. Well, he knew 
when you when you figure it out then you know how to do it on your own next time instead of having somebody else do something for you that's always the best way to learn is when you get thrown into the fire right then you know what's up the next time then you then you can teach somebody else right you can't never say I know how to jump the wall, but now build the wall. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, Francisco. Man. See you at the shop. All right, adios. Just call me then. I'll call you. All right. Yes, All right, see you later. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Adios. Next week. Yep, sounds good. that one turned out good i'll see you on the next one adios